Hi, welcome back to Who's Looking Out for You? And I'm sitting here now with my good friend, Democrat, Representative Ken Gidge from Nashua. Ken, it's always a pleasure, my friend. It's about time they get a, a, a true point of view instead of you, you, you just preach to the choir constantly. You know, and nobody gets a Democrat to come over here and beat you up because you're so... What can I say? You're like Hamburg. You know what Republicans are to me? What's that? Republicans are people who walk around in the sun with an umbrella because all I wanted is dark. You can't sell New Hampshire. You have to put it down. You guys, want, you, you keep talking about all the money that's spent, but you can't tell where it's spent from. I, you say you're going to get more money coming from. in, but you don't know how you're going to get it in. I can tell you where it's spent from, and I can tell you where um, I can tell you that Health and Human Services spent forty million dollars over the, the first year of their budget, and then another seventy the second year. I can tell you money well, on. It, it, I can was tell it, you. Was, will you let was, me, it, was it falsely spent? Will, will you let me? No, it was, it was spent on. My, well, we you said just zero. Said it wasn't falsely yeah, spent. Yes, it was because so, we did not budget Medicaid expansion. It was supposed to be hundred percent paid by the federal excuse government. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is paid. What do you mean? Then, it, then why is it costing the how, state of New Hampshire? Excuse me. Then why? How could? Why is it costing the just, state of New Hampshire? I just listened to mm -hmm. the governor, who you guys want as governor, Havisty, mm -hmm. who didn't even know that Medicaid was paid a hundred percent. I can't believe that. He, by he spoke here in London Obama and he said a hundred percent. He didn't even know he, he knows. ten percent. In fact you know. he said he wouldn't have even put it in. He, that's right. He said I would have repealed so it. So you know you want to know he something? He would have repealed it. So what, forty thousand people, sixty percent of it's women not 40, Republicans people. are it's having less, a hard time my with understanding women. it's between Duh. eleven I can't get exact numbers between eleven and twenty thousand. That's not forty thousand. You all, all well, these big numbers. Well, you guys tactics. said that. You <laughs> said it was going to. I remember uh, O'Brien said thirty million. Now you are up to three hundred no, million no. dollars. The thirty million was the number that was used in the Maine model. I mean, I'm sorry, the Vermont model. The three hundred million was used in the Oregon model, which both of them canned their their uh, sites. So you guys can't figure out New okay. Hampshire, Oregon, and what? No, Vermont? because we looked at two states that put in uh, exchanges the cost. To the taxpayers. Oh, I I see. So do we you, cut mental health? Where so, do we get the money so, to pay so for that? So you you chose mm -hmm. the big ones to where? make New Hampshire look no. bad. Where do we where get the, the money? We're the cheapest state in the United States. You know, under under Democrat governors for the last eight ten years, our economy now is behind Maine and Vermont. We were the leading uh, for many uh, years here in the uh, New England let states. Let me see. We're four point. To Vermont might be four point. Oh, here we go. On Maine is higher. Uh, we're no for unemployment across the country now. It's five point nine across the country. So New Hampshire's doing so you pretty think that's good. good. So and you it's think guys that's good. like you who keep constantly so saying. So you think four point two is good? Can I give you statistics? It's a lot better. Can I give you statistics from our unemployment here? Okay, we have forty three thousand more people that do not have a job. Okay, as of uh, July of 2006, I'm going to go back when I became a state rep. Okay, there was 325,235 people not employed. As of August of 2014, not employed, 368,943. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. They fell off the system. So They're not being counted. How many people were employed? How many people employed? Okay. Were employed. I just happen to have those numbers. Gee. In April of 2014, employed was 714,000. 604 people. In August of 2014, employed 707,642. We lost 7,000 jobs Excuse in the me, last four months. But you said 300,000. Are unemployed. But your numbers don't add up. My number, well, we have 1.3 something uh, right, people okay. in the state I'll of New Hampshire. I'll give you a statistic. Okay. Is this, you're pulling years this out of the ago, year? Or? 14 years ago, mm -hmm. we had unemployment. Uh, benefits, people applying for unemployment. It's at a 14-year low. That means there are people getting jobs. The economy is getting stronger, mm -hmm. although you won't admit it. New Hampshire's bringing more money in, but you won't admit it. In fact, you have nothing good to say about, what, about what don't the President get? of the United States. Did you nothing even, at all. Did you even look at the census on what's going on in New Hampshire? Did you even track that at all? That 38, or high, 38 years old or older we have here in New Hampshire, 
all our young children that are graduating college are not coming back to New Hampshire. Oh, and by the, they're leaving. They're yes, gone in many other states. And by the way, states. I was just listening you to your, your potential governor, Havistein, and what he said, maybe it was a slip, was regarding UNH. We have to educate these people at UNH so when they decide to leave the state and go someplace, they'll be educated. And I'm going, I think you might have heard what? that wrong. And then he turns and tells us that his son person. went to Texas. Right, because he couldn't find a job here in New Hampshire. No, he couldn't find a better job, so mm -hmm. he took off to Texas. You know, I have, a, I have a daughter who's got a bachelor's degree. I told her to work on a master's. She's going to have a master's next year. Graduated from Londonderry High School. There's no jobs here for her. I have another son who has a bachelor's degree excuse in communications. Me, and what, and what, He's and in what, Oklahoma right no, now. No, They're what, going out to Hollywood. Me, what, was, what was she... Her degree in what? In business, uh, and then uh, minor in event planning, okay, for uh, corporations. But the bottom line is there's no jobs. I have another son in Chicago, okay? I have a daughter living in, uh, working for Harvard University, okay? Um, and what I'm trying to tell you, that uh, my son is a Marine recruiter in Lowell. Now, he joined the Marines. Now, hold on a second. If we were like 7 or 8%, now we're down to 4.2. Your daughter may not have a job. Okay, but that job that your daughter wanted happens to be now filled because there are more events in the state of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. There are more people doing uh, events here in the state. Okay. Uh, You'll be happy with the status Democrats, quo. Democrats, uh, I will all not sorts be happy of political until things every taking place. person is working. Oh, well. Okay, uh, I will not be happy oh, well, until every person so, is working. Oh, wouldn't everybody? Yeah, but but that hasn't is, happened in the history of this country well, that everybody has had a hasn't job. It has happened. Well, the last eight, So you ten want years. everybody to have a job? Yes, I do. Yes, okay, I do. So, so, I want to attract business here to New so, Hampshire. But you didn't want Medicaid, and there are people who no, no, absolutely wait, wait. cannot it afford right. it. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. Medicaid. Say it right. What's the difference? Medicaid, Medicaid expansion. Say it right. I didn't want Medicaid expansion. Medicaid is oh, designed for low-income well, people. Well, all right, I'll, I'll tell you what. Medicaid all right, is all right. designed you, to help low-income people. You want to play with words. Okay, yeah. Medicaid expansion. and Medicaid. And expansion means what? You can own a million-dollar no, home. No, expansion means what? What? It, it's expanding Medicaid on the Medicaid. Medicaid expansion means what? Yeah, expanding on the Medicaid to program. Who? Okay, to low-income people. To who? To, to low-income people. Wait, Medicaid who is didn't people have aren't insurance working. before. Is that correct? What I'm saying is... They didn't have insurance before. Medicaid, Is that correct? No, they had insurance. A lot of them lost their no, no, insurance. No, they didn't have Obamacare. insurance. Look in the camera and They're tell the, the people of London, uh, uh, my resident. Uh, They're the middle class. And wait a minute. Wait, how do we get into this mess? Well, wait, wait. Let me see. Wasn't there two wars? Several trillion million dollars. That had nothing to do with health insurance. Oh, I know you don't like to talk that about. Had I know do you don't like insurance. to talk about Bush, but when he left. Wasn't everything crashing when the president of the United States came in? Who was the, he lost 750,000 jobs Senate? on the first month he was mm -hmm. there. Last month he brought in mm -hmm. 258,000. Let me ask you something. Bush's last two years, who was running the House and Senate? Who controlled the purse strings? Who was the last two years of Bush presidency, who controlled the purse strings? Can you help me out here? And who? War? No. Who controlled, who voted on the budgets? Because they did pass a budget under Bush, unlike Obama, one budget in six years. But one budget in six years, yes. they can't do it. Are you look? Hold on a second. Let's get something straight here before you you go off on a, some sort one of a tangent. One budget in wait, six wait, years. Wait a minute. You guys left. The Republicans left. The House left with not even giving people student loans to refinance here their student again, loans. The student. You're stuck on How that student loan stuff How could you do that? Again. You're stuck on Believe it or not, Republicans have student loans, and you wouldn't let them refinance when it. You, when you put a bill in that don't even go comes over the Senate with a lot of pork on it, I, I respect the Republicans for standing up and not taking it well, up. Didn't you say before one of the reasons why is you couldn't make the money up? That's another reason. Okay. Because okay, what? so you couldn't make the money up because they could not. Where do you so cut? So that's still really keeping a tax on with them. With the then. interest rate and the projected is this revenue. keeping a tax? No. Well, you, you know, let me well, finish. Well, it is. With the interest if rates that are being paid. you could bring the taxes down, bringing, Ken, letting them let refinance, finish. bringing it down. Hey, Ken, that's taking taxes away, isn't it? Let me finish, Ken. With the projected revenues off of the so, off of the um, school loans, that projected revenue is spent somewhere else. 
okay? Now, if you cut or you do the loans and combine, which I want because I have over 127,000 in different college loans for my kids under my name, I want to be able to, but I refuse to say, hey, put in all that pork. You, I, you have to find where to cut are, are you saying to that, cover for the uh, money are lost. You, well, it, boy, I'll tell you what. I love where do the, you cut? I love the way you Republicans get around but that. But it's a fact. That the money that is lost, okay, uh, is put someplace else. But how about the people who have the loans? How much do they lose? How much can they not buy? How much do they lose with equity and bad and bad credit? So you're saying pass legislation and, and don't the, worry about the money? By the way, we have it was also the Republicans who left without mm -hmm. giving the unemployment another 20 weeks of unemployment insurance. Does... But guess what? Of all the monies that are given, for unemployment insurance, mm -hmm. that money goes completely right out. Uh, Here works you go for us. again. You think the government has a money tree? You know the money tree is you, me, everybody is where the money comes from. Eventually, socialism, you run out of other people's money. Don't you understand that? There comes a time. Run out of other. There comes a oh, wait, time when on you. A second. One trillion dollars for <laughs> a, a war. He cuts me off all we the time. We are coming down. We're coming, bringing that back. That money is, we're not mm -hmm. spending that money. That's sort of coming back to us. Our country is doing far better than anyone ever thought it would do uh, financially. It was the Republicans who almost killed us. Us Republicans country. are bad, you, bad people. Weren't you guys against, uh -huh. uh, weren't you guys against the, uh, the auto? Companies, let's not give them any money. Weren't you guys mm -hmm. against the banking? Don't give them any money. Don't. Weren't yes. you guys against? Uh, yes. Weren't you guys because against the, free the uh, market, Wall Street? Let's not give them any money. The free market can do it itself. Look at uh, look at the uh, so, Demulas. One the million free people, market will one, work out its own one yeah, million without people, government involvement. One you million, want the government involved? One million people out of jobs on cars. All right. Uh, how one no, no, out of, where you, if where you, you get these finance, numbers from? And by the way, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there, Republicans, who are very happy that Wall Street went up because they lost so much money in the 401 case. But you guys didn't. You guys didn't want to help the BLM out at all. Why? And then you're against unions. And I just are you heard all done? you don't want to. I, I heard you don't want to bring in police and firemen into your unions of not liking unions, not wanting unions. No, th there you go again. See, you throw out so much BS, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Do you well, of course they, I do. You know, the people in my district are very educated, and they keep up with what's going on up at the State House and other, and what's going on in the government. By who? You? There's a lot of people. No, they, they're, they're computer. There's a lot of people here in London that we have that are, uh, that aren't working. We, that their pay has dropped down, that they haven't gotten pay raises in a long time. You want to I continue. don't know anyone who doesn't want a, a better pay raise. Well, and no, I'll tell you what, they the, want a better pay the, raise, but the, if it's not the, there, the, the money ain't there in the business community. are very happy to have jobs. The pay raises are there for government employees, but not for the really? average working. Now, what government are you talking about? I'm talking New Hampshire. New ha oh, all, all, look at the oh, contracts. Oh, look really? at all the union contracts. And they go up every, let every year. Let me see. And you get paid how much a year? A hundred dollars a year. So we're volunteer government. But see, we're by the are Constitution. Are we the cheapest state in the United States? Wait, you're, you're, you're not listening to me. See, Wait, you're, you're talking government you're turning, goes up? No, you're turning stuff around. I'm talking government employees. Why can't you just be honest and oh, focused? Okay. Government, not state All reps. right, okay. All we're right, elected okay. by the people. I'm not going to let you get away with that. Okay, go ahead. Name the employees that got raises. Yeah, your SEIU uh, employees all What's got 3%. What's SEIU? It's the um, whatever, the service uh, something union, you know. The, now, what unions. is it? I don't, it's a union. You don't know. It's a service there something we go, folks. BS union. He doesn't know. It's a union. But yet it's going up. It's the union. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't didn't Hassan say let's cut thirty million dollars? Uh, because of her overspending. You're damn right. She her did. overspending. Overspending. Because look at the prisons. And is she not giving at, you the numbers? Look at the prison. Is it she's not wait. giving you the numbers? Uh, they are out now. The truth has come out now that she spent money. And what numbers okay? were they? Or 30 million she's looking no, for. No, no, what regroup. numbers were they that you wanted which you couldn't get before? Well, we wanted what, what the monthly uh, budget on transparency on what's being spent. We just found out recently, too, about the prisons, which we didn't know that the overtime, uh, they just kept proving and proving and proving the overtime. Instead, and they have so many positions open that not being filled. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a freeze across jobs or what. Yeah, I was in the Hillsborough County Executive Council. So what's going on with All the right, overtime? And in, in, in our office, 
where we did our meetings is right next to the ladies' prison. It's because the Republicans would oh, not the Republican. give money so they could mm -hmm. hire more guards. You see, it's real How's simple. The Democrats if are in charge of the House. you more guards, mm -hmm. the guards that are there will not get the over Tell me how the Republicans time. did this. More gods Tell me how the Republicans did this. They're more awake. They're more alert. Tell me People how. People do a better job. Tell me how the but Republicans. You guys you made said a comment. no. You made a want. comment. What, did Tell you, me how we did that. Did you or did you just not say to me that they kept giving overtime, 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 overtime to the gods? I just gave you the reason why. Does that make any did sense you to you? Did you not hear me that they're not filling the position? There's a freeze there on jobs? Right! Did you? Because, uh, because there's no money. But the, but there was a lot of open jobs, and the, and the governor has because, just kept filling them. Because there's no money. They wouldn't let it. I'm on the executive council. We do the prisons. I was on the executive council. I'm in Hillsborough County. Why isn't You're there not even no in money. Hillsborough Who, County, for God's sakes. Are you, so That's you where say, the jails so are. So you're saying the governor, they're boasting about the budget, she screwed up? Is that what you're well, telling me? Well, hold on a second. I, is that what you're telling me, if Governor Harrison screwed I remember up? correctly, huh? you keep telling me that it's your... Not yet. It's not Hassan's government as of yet. It's who would it be? It would be Bill O'Brien's no. government. Where, no, it that's was not Bill O'Brien who cut the money why out. Why can't you be truthful? We're under the old Hassan budget. We're under the House and Senate budget. Um, O'Brien's budget was a couple of years ago. That, that was over in June of uh, 2014. We're on the Hassan budget, so she boasted. Wait, she was against it when out slamming senators... Two weeks prior, she was for it. Do you see what I'm saying? So let's be honest here. Let's give out the facts here. See, it's, it's you like, guys it's like about first, find first blame. I'm for Massachusetts. Now I'm for New Hampshire. You, you the, all try I to find blame. Into another. Why do you continue to find blame? Why can't you stand blame up and say, let's what? fix the problem? Well, you tell me. You're t you, may, you know, you Republicans, I'll tell you, there are people out there going, why the hell is he keep interrupting him? And the reason why is this. Republicans will start off on one section, and they will move what section? over. Explain a, the section. A, a subject. Then they What's will the move subject? over Explain to subject. another subject. Explain then move over the to subject. Another. And people are so polite that they mm. don't say stop. Fig uh, explain yourself, like the money. Mm. How much money was it? Who was getting the, the paychecks? Tax? Did you vote for the gas tax? No. Why? Political. Explain political. So the well, white all right, okay. Uh, there, I, wa know, I wanted to come back. Yeah. I I thought the gas tax would uh, make it so I would not be voted for. But let me make something extremely clear mm -hmm. to you. If I thought it was going to be a close vote, I would have voted for it. And the oh, other so thing right now. The puppets, oh, oh no. Like a little puppet, pull it, your it should, strings. Huh? Did you just say I didn't vote uh, for it? Yeah, I know, but you said no, that no, if it came back, I would have voted. You just said I but didn't not, vote for it. But you're not being honest. Why? I am not a puppet. Why did you not vote for it? I want to get that out of you. I just told you, political. Well, I want to get well, reelected. I, I, oh, oh, you want to get reelected. Because so, you hold us against. And, oh, and, you oh, want to get reelected political. By the way, how much is our gas right now? I don't know, what, $3.09? But the, uh, to me, that's no, 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 no. So that four and a half cents did what? It's still four and a half cents, well, 4.2 uh, cents. But, but correct. 4.2. But, but our, our bridges are going to be fixed? You know, some. Oh, wait a minute. We, aren't we a tourist state? Don't you want people to come up here with their businesses? Then, you want people to come up here okay. and live? You have to have good bridges. You have to have good roads. Okay. Now I and gave you enough time to speak. Secondary roads. I gave you enough time to speak. Now, you all rated thirty-eight million dollars in two thousand ten of gas tax to uh, for operation money. You also borrowed money in two thousand ten for to operate the government. You all borrowed money on the. You spent on and the credit card. And Bill O'Brien did it You've also. You all spent eighty-seven taxes Excuse me, and Bill fees. Bill O'Brien did it also. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did not take money I out. I beg Wait, your pardon. The thirty-six percent of the gas tax is being siphoned off, okay, uh, into different areas. We didn't. I'll be honest. We didn't catch that. Let us. You know. All right. All right okay. Let we didn't catch it. How about insurance? I love the insurance. Why are you I, getting me away from when I'm not done yet with the gas okay. tax yet? All right. Go okay. Ahead. Good try. Yeah, go ahead. Thirty-six <laughs> percent of the money is being siphoned off. The Balbasar uh, O'Brien amendment was to put a hundred percent of the gas tax to go to roads and bridges. Um, put everything else in the budget uh, for in transparency. His, in his budget. And you all, and Representative Lisa Whitmore, voted against budget, it. In his budget, he did that. 
We tried. We on the floor. We brought the amendment. Excuse me. Did he do that? You didn't. Did you hear me? We said. We I didn't. heard you. We did not catch it in the budget that that money was or, being diverted uh, by the governor. You didn't catch it. Why? We, no. We. Uh, I'm being you honest. You were smart enough. No, I'm being honest. And you, here we go. You the all the Republicans kept it, wanted. They're not smart quiet. enough to figure thirty million dollars out. You I all, can figure thirty million dollars out. Then why didn't you catch it? You're on commerce. Why did you well, catch it? Well, huh? yeah, let, educate let, me. Let, let us let us get uh -huh. to not catching something. Yeah, because mm -hmm. of what you guys did in the budget. And by the way, you said you you had a fifty million dollar surplus, something like mm -hmm. that. What? No, we had a seventy four. Okay. What people don't understand is the way Bill O'Brien went about doing this, and it's very complex. And how did he do it? It's called explain it. It's called tax on beds. In hospitals, what we would do is we would tax hospitals. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was done way before Mr. Nuno had nothing to do with Bill so O'Brien. You're not being honest. We get them. You're not being honest. You're passing I'm it on to done. Bill O'Brien. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, no, no, he no. stopped it. No, 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 no. So we'd get the money back. Mm -hmm. Then the federal government would give us money. It was which a would, scam. Which would be more, and then we'd give it back mm -hmm. to the hospitals. Right. Okay. For now, years, hold on, hold on a under Republican Democrats, so they scammed the Medicare exe Brian exemption. What did was he took the money, he didn't give it back. We got sued. It might be $180 million. Gee, that sounds it's like still, you're saving a lot of money. It's still going through the courts, is it not? No, you want to know something. Is it still going through the courts? It, it's so complex. One of the reasons why it is was it still going not the courts? considered. No, it hasn't actually. Uh, one of the reasons why it wasn't considered. Uh, legal is because we were not, are you ready for this mm -hmm. one, taxing everyone the same, which means we have to tax more mm -hmm. people to do what we were doing before. And it was the Republicans and the Republicans, and right, the Democrats who want the to Democrats. save everybody money and cost mm -hmm. everybody it money. It was Bill O'Brien who, because of a Medicaid uh, investigation, okay, that there was five areas under the Medicaid, uh, Medicaid uh, law that could be taxed, and one of them were beds. Okay, so under Shaheen and Benson, Republicans and Democrats, they kept this thing over for years. They would take the money from the tax on the beds and give it back. Give it back. But that's a scam. It's a scam. You're telling okay. the Fed because so we were getting money from the federal government. government. And by the way, that was brought up by It was Craig. a scam. Okay, so, so Bill O'Brien stopped the scam. And he stopped it. Because it was a scam. Right. And it that's, was illegal. And that's how we balanced the budget by but not it, but paying but the what money What don't back. you understand? It was illegal. You're right. It was But you don't illegal. care. You all turn your back it, on it. Bill O'Brien didn't. Why was it illegal? Because they were not taxing enough people. You now they can tax No, that's not true. And by the way, that's not true. you want to tax more mm -hmm. people? Hey. That's not true. We had, we had no choice because see. of the Medicaid law. You do not want to let people We had no choice because of the Medicaid law because on the tax. Because you need some you're money not, to put someplace else. You know, you're not being honest. You know that. Let's, well, I'm being let's be tricky. Honest. Not I, the people in my dishonest. district, yeah, that's right. The people in my district are smarter than this, and I want to make sure they understand. The Medicaid tax that was there, we were required. Bill O'Brien found that we were scamming the federal government to get more money. That's not he true. He stopped it. Right. Okay. Every money that we, okay. every dime that we get from the let, hospitals. Let, uh, let, can uh, you let me finish. Let me finish. Every dime we got from the federal, from the hospitals. Didn't we re uh, report that um, revenue to the federal government that we got so much money? We gave it back. Okay. So we really didn't Let get it. Let us it's say a scam. you're 100% correct. I might be 99 because I've been Why known to make a mistake here Why do we have to pay back between 180 and $400 million because it Bill O'Brien found a mistake? It has not gone to the Supreme Court yet, okay, in New Hampshire. It has not gone. The Medicaid tax well, wait, wait, on the exemptions well, well, that are there are, are going to come back and why bite Why are we brought to court? Because the hospitals were unhappy. Because, because they were, we didn't pay the money the back? The hospitals were feeding at the throth for many years on a Medicaid tax feeding that was forced. Feeding at the throth? Yes, because the Medi you're not listening to me. Let me finish. The Medicaid tax that we were required by law to put on, there was five areas. We chose the bed tax, okay? And then we report the revenues that we were taking in, and then there was a match. Okay, from the federal government. We were lying to the federal government. We gave the money back. 
let's be honest, O'Brien straightened this out because what we were doing is illegal. Well, that, now, the hospitals well, well, that, wanted their money that, back because for years that, the Republican that's, Democrats that's, got this money that's back. That's not correct. That's, you've, you've you're missed, on commerce. You, you no, should no, know that. You have missed a couple couple spots in between, but you, you almost You notice I it. said 99.5 percent. I'm right. But I, want I might have made a mistake here. Say, yeah. Bill O'Brien found a mistake, so we made it up. Right, we, right. We, he, he found and it. Yeah, it's going to cost us between 180 million to 400 million. He, but didn't you just say there was a 70 million dollar surplus that the Democrats spent over okay, the last eight, so you ten deduct years? Yes. 180 million, mm -hmm. 75 million, and your Governor minus Hassan, how much? Governor Hassan spent. Okay, I think we're down to four or five million dollars. Why do you think our rating has dropped under Governor Hassan? Because she cannot maintain money in there for bonding I in the rainy day beg fund. Your why Pardon? do you think? Why it do you think we've been threatened? It dropped under Hassan. We, we, it dropped under. It dropped under O'Brien. Where are we being threatened? Wow! No, that's not true. Where You're we, there. Where are we You're being? You're there. Where are we being threatened because of no money in the rainy day fund? No. And also the insurance uh, no. thing going on. No. Because of the because possibility of, of the did. lawsuit. No. What Bill O'Brien did, see, you you admitted it earlier, now you're not, what Bill O'Brien did. Bill O'Brien fixed the scam that was going on in his state for yeah, years. Yeah, he fixed it so much it cost us $180 million. But the bottom line, so... I'd so, like, like to, hold on a second, let's fix more scams. Should we have turned our yeah, back be, on the, on the Medicaid are, scam? Let's, let's be honest, these are not real flowers, so then, right. it's going to cost the station $10,000. So you're saying turn so, your back right, on the so, illegal... So we need, so that's just what you're saying. You're, you're, you're saying you want O'Brien to turn his back on the illegal scam that was going on with Medicaid that New Hampshire was doing under well, Republicans, under Republicans he, and Democrats. He didn't give it back, so we were sued. So the courts came along. I'm just going to say it one more time. The lower I, courts. Then let's move on. The lower courts. They said, guess what? The reason why it is illegal is you're not charging everybody, which means you have to charge more tax to other parts of health care. And not give it back. Okay. Because it's illegal. It's a scam. No, you get it back. But you're, you're not you're supposed to. What I'm trying to tell you, you're, you're not listening. See, you're yeah. getting around. It's a scam. Let's. I'm yeah. in commerce, banking and insurance. Okay. That's just one you, subject I happen then, to know. Then why didn't Medicaid expansion come to commerce? Why was it pushed through over in finance and ways and means without going to the duty experts in commerce under the Democrat regime? How come? Tell me why it didn't go to commerce. I don't know. You sit there. You're in commerce. You were just bragging. Uh, you just asked me a question. I said, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> oh, do wait you, a minute. Wait you, a minute. I know Republicans need a little bit more than what I don't know. Republicans and Democrats I think I can say it in French. I think I can say it in German. And I think I can yeah. say it in <laughs> Spanish. Hey, Republicans and Democrats on the commerce are the duty experts in insurance. Okay? I have to admit, they, they do know and they do work hard on insurance stuff. But my concern was, why was but, that committee bypassed on but, Medicaid but you, expansion? But you know, but, but you know the, the, this ha doesn't happen to be... Because, I bet you might Because we, know that. we also had an, inside our committee, because we're also mm -hmm. consumer affairs, if we don't have enough to do, right. banking, all of banking, all oh, of insurance, so and our go, consumer, passing, then we had guns given coming excuses in. why. Then we had alcohol. The, you had guns going in there because the Democrats knew that they couldn't get it through on the uh, Criminal Justice Committee where it belonged. Oh, you guys. So they stuck it to Congress. You guys are really, you guys they brought are, it, you, you, The Democrat you're, leadership you're, you're sent off. that bill to Congress instead of going to criminal Every justice. Every gun sold in the state of New Hampshire should be, and let me say the T word, taxed one dollar. Why? To put into mental health. One dollar for every sale Why, is of gun? every gun is it the, that is sold in the state of New Hampshire, taxed one dollar to go into mental health. Is it the, because you guys are it saying the, it's not the gun, is it's it the, the people is and it the, the people gun, are nuts. Is it the gun owner, law-abiding citizens that are buying guns, is their fault for mental health? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you just said? The gun owners are, are at fault for mental health? Well, let me, uh, you know, I, I think there's something Don't called Sandy stuttering. Hook. I, I really think that gun owners uh, would, uh, wouldn't mind paying one buck for mental health. In fact, I you, can't understand why anyone all, would want to do that. But gun, you guys don't want nothing. You all want a penny, nickel, and dime the taxpayers. Every time we turn around, you want money. You want guns? The, the Democrat in my town, Lisa Whittemore, have voted for just about every tax and fee that you voted to except the gas tax. You stood your ground 
because it wasn't politically correct. How could you? Mm -hmm. you, you know, I love how you, you danced around from guns because I have a feeling you're coming more to the middle of guns and you're not as hot as you used to be. One dollar uh, taxed on, I, I, on, I on can't. guns then to why, be put straight why, into mental Why should it be just the, the gun owners? Only, why should it be the just the gun owners? The only problem is how could we get it go directly to mental health? How, let me ask you, how come just the gun owners? Because they buy guns. Okay, so that means they, they're, they're mental, they're, they cause mentalism uh, no, issues? No, it, be, well. The, uh, because they, how about the, the cars, the many the, murders in cars? The, oh yeah, in rocks. How rock, about the cars? In rocks. How about registration? How I'll about, tell you what, if a rock can go the speed mm -hmm. of light, then we'll charge it a how about buck knife for everyone dealers? who has one. Hey, how about, if we're at it, how about knife dealers? There's more knife killings there throughout the country also. Or how about, let's talk FBI statistics. How about strangulation? People that with using their hands should we tax the hands right. and, let, and go to let mental me, health let me see people really need machine guns you know some machine gun first of all is to, illegal to, to, wait to, you're, you're not oh let's well it's illegal all a right machine right. gun has to have a special federal stamp R uh, yeah and there are very limited machine guns and, in their collectors and, and or their gun dealers you're not being truthful it, well. here. Just like you're not being truthful on the assault weapon. Assault weapon is a military style automatic weapon, okay? For hunting. No, it's no, they don't it's illegal to have assault weapon. Be honest, you to guys hunt? don't tell the truth. To hunt? They're, they're, any assault weapon. You have to have a special permit, a special it deal. Could be an assault weapon like a what? A, a an M sixteen. An AK-47, automatic. Excuse, excuse automatic. me. Automatic. No, you a, a don't. A 50 cal, a no, 60. You, oh, a 50 cal. It's for illegal. For God's sakes, for God's sake, you can blow the place me. up with a 50 In cal. In order to have a assault or a automatic weapon, What's in a, you need you can hold a in special your hand, stamp. In your arm. In your arm, a, with a switch that goes to automatic. Boom, 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 boom. No. No, one trigger round. Oh keep yeah, going. okay, yeah. Three round bursts, six that, round bursts, no, no, or that's, whatever. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's true. yeah, yeah. I agree that's with illegal. That. Well, I'm so, just but you're not. You never. You guys never tell the truth. It's like the. Um, uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait, you 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 bring up a good point. It's not the guns. It's that the person behind people, it. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's the people behind it. Are they a little crazy? Some of them. Yeah, but the thing is. Excuse me. Are they a little crazy? Who? Who? The people who? who shoot people like Sandy Hook, 26 kids. Is that guy a little crazy? Well, yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm sure his so, parents do. So if every gun owner paid $1 when they purchased a gun toward mental mm -hmm. health, would that help Let us a little? Let me ask you something. Somebody with a DUI that, God forbid, that smashes into somebody or kills somebody there, are they a little crazy? Somebody with a knife that kills, stabs somebody. Are they a little why crazy? Do you, why do you because guys, you continue you, to go you, after you, guns. You know, the problem Let's with be you, honest. you know, you, you you can go right down to marshmallows. That's right. You know, you can stick you can ten choke. marshmallows in somebody's mouth and kill them. So we should tax marshmallows. No, you guys want to tax. That's the way you go. No, no, you want to tax. All I right. don't. I don't think we need to do it. You're just all you want is a revenue source again that the governor can go and dig in and get and put somewhere else. And by the way, I listened to an interview with Havistein, who is supposedly your governor. He's a great guy. Yeah. Good guy. Boy, I, if anybody listens to that interview and mm -hmm. it was done on public radio, anybody re listens to that, they won't vote for her. Well, Even I doubt. Even the Repub I doubt, I Republicans doubt wouldn't I, vote for him. You know, some. It was one of the most awful interviews. We're, we're getting a Democrat if he version, was sitting right there and I'm sure and it the was Republican me, would say dead different. Meat. I'm sure the Republicans that listened to it probably didn't read between the lines like you guys. Okay? But let's get back to commerce here. Let's talk. How come you guys in commerce didn't file, file any legislation since you're the duty experts on letting New Hampshire go cross lines and do business with insurance companies there for health insurance? How come? You guys are the duty expert there. You've been on there how many terms? How many years you've been on Commerce? Three terms? Uh, no, four. I'm, no, three, no, and I'm going for my fourth. You're going because uh, you, you're a junior to me, right? Right. Is that true? Uh, yes, by two years. Uh, I'll help you out. I'll bring you along. <laughs> when we're in leadership, I told Bill O'Brien, I'm going to take you under my wing. I'm going to look <laughs> out for you. That's all I need. <laughs> you know, but he did say he's going to have you pocket go like about nine blocks away or something. Did he yeah. say that? He said that, so... Uh, because yes, you know he's going to be the next speaker. And I know what he speaker. drives, flat tires, flat mm -hmm. tires, flat yeah. tires. <laughs> because he's determined, Bill O'Brien, for the lower business taxes, he's determined. Because we're number 48th uh, look, in the I country. I agree with business taxes. Everybody agrees with business taxes. Will you vote with us? Well, of course, everybody. Lower, well, hold on. As tax? long as you don't 
put on, you know, you can't have gay marriage or, no, no. or you'll stick you know, something like gay, that on gay the way. marriage, I mean, I'm, I'm a Catholic. You know, I this, support, this listen, went on. Can you hear me for a second? And I'm going to tell it like it is because I'm not bashful. Gay marriage is settled law. It's been in New Hampshire for five, six years. There's a lot of laws I don't like, but I have to support it. You'll live by it. Okay, I live by it. Okay, so the bottom line is it's over. Just like I'm, I'm pro-life. There's abortion issues here with settled law with Roe versus Wade. I don't like it, but the bottom line is it's settled law. You know, you know what, you a see what I'm saying? So you know what a Republican woman said? A Republican woman said this. If you guys would leave the hall, us women can, can, can take care of this. You know, In other words, look stay at all the away women. from our bodies. Then why are there a lot of women, medically. Republicans, that gone to the well speaking against all they want? They want abortion clinics here in New Hampshire licensed. You can go to any other clinic, they gotta be licensed, but not abortion clinic. How come? How come we don't track our numbers in New Hampshire and, on abortions? How and come? Planned Parenthood, you're not for mm -hmm. that. I, I am for Planned Parenthood if they separate the abortions. Because well, they the money, do separate. No, the no they abortion. don't. That's not true. They're okay. in the same building. So, the taxpayers' so, money go there to so put on white teeth and everything else. So what you're saying is, a pap test for a woman you know, cannot you be not, as if they do abortions. No, nope, you did not listen to me. What I just said. You're going to change it all around as you normally do. I Breast just cancer said. Cancer testing. You're not listening to me. Blood testing. I just said, take away the abortion part okay. of it. And if you don't, don't fund it. Yeah. That's right. We offered that. So to, we offered that. Smears, do, so pap smears, so breast. Do you know we offered so that? So blood you know testing. Some, and also by, for men You also. all want taxpayers' money to pay for abortions. When you put the lights on, the heat on in that building, that's taxpayers' Wait, money I, paying. And I think, Garcia, I think this is really good. You guys want to pass a law where, whereby if a mother can be saved, by aborting the child, and that doesn't mean the child will live, that doctor will be arrested That's not true. and gone to jail. That is a blatant lie. That, that is, that is a, exactly nope, that is a what you want. That is a blatant lie. Just like your bathroom That's bill, it. where homosexual or uh, transsexual, uh, transgender can go into bathrooms with little kids. Bathroom okay? Bill. Just like your bathroom bill. You were there in the bathroom, bathroom bill. Bathroom bill. That's right. Uh, Okay, so you're not being honest here. Be truthful. No oh, doctors are going to get arrested. And, and, okay? and weren't you the guy complaining because they fixed a woman's bathroom and it cost $70,000? Yeah, because the taxpayers' money. You put marble, you and did all this fancy the stuff. the building Why did you is 160 fancy? years old. No, you're not being truthful Old again. pipes. Why did we $70,000 isn't much money. We 70000 could have gone to mental health. Well, that could have paid for uh, uh, well, uh, psychiatrists. Well, well anything that lasts 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 or 100 years is worth $70,000. Wouldn't you say so? But no, I won't. You because, won't? No, because the bathroom well, was in nice I'll shape. I'll tell you what. It I just wonder, didn't have the fancy marble. I wonder how marble. many times they've changed your bathroom if your house was 160 years old. You know some. I would never in a million years put in all the marble, all this fancy stuff on the taxpayers' money. I the, would have never done that. Well, I think you probably might do that if you had a million people going into your bathroom No, no, marble, every year. all this expensive stuff in there. Come on, give it a break. See, you Democrats here, do as I say, not as I do. You love to spend other people's money. That's why when you when it comes to the do budget. Do as I say, don't under do Under the Democrats here, okay. when it came to the budget, and I was there, when they come up with their projected revenues, they come up with a certain number on what they think they're going to get. When they come up with the budget, they seen the projected revenues didn't match. Oh, they go out of the room, they call a caucus meeting, they come back with higher projected revenues, and then they end up in a deficit. That's your way of thinking. Okay, and give me an example, a pure example of what you just said. They did it with. I'm saying with phony, baloney with, numbers. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Th this is what I said before. Under to the people watching is I grab the Republicans and I turn and I say, you said something. Give mm -hmm. me an example. I'll give an example. Under the House budget, okay? What 80, part of the, the budget? The whole budget. The totality. The, the totality of the budget. They, first of all, Governor Hassan put in $80 million of illegal money that was never even voted on. on illegal. Gambling. Yeah, it was illegal because we don't have a gambling law. We didn't have gambling no, was, in the state. It was $50 million, I believe. $80 million. All right, $80 million. $80 million. And okay. she didn't put it in. She, 
Who did? It was projected. Who did? Not one Democrat had voted for her budget. It was projected. But the bottom it line is, not, but she put it in the it was budget. Still and she it still the, was projected, wasn't she it? Proje yeah, okay, I'll use that word, projected. projected. Same thing. She put it in there, projected. Are you for gaming? Okay. Yeah, I support gaming. And But the thing is, it, it should have never been in the budget. Was gaming tied? It should, no, not not at all. Was it? No, no. Not at no, all. No, hold on. Wasn't gaming and a tie both sides, Republicans and Democrats? Right, yeah. Both, and right. it was broken but by listen, who? It was a, a Democrat? Democrat, right. They so lost. it was a Democrat mm -hmm. who stopped gaming in the state of New Hampshire. But you're not listening. We're not talking that about gaming. That I did not Apples like. and oranges. Apples and oranges. Budget, gaming. It's totally separate because the money will take a while before it even comes in. Your governor, okay, Democrat, wanted to put in $80 million of spending but money that she didn't even have yet. No, pr look, projecting. But she was putting well, in. You know, you but know, when you, you know, project, you projecting you, is, when you project okay. eighty million, it's spent somewhere in the line okay. items. Projection is his flowers, but they're really two. Right. Two things of flowers. Okay. That's your projection. Is it there? Okay. Is it there? But no, it's over it's here. No, it's not there. It's over here in a line but item that money spent. The Republicans will say, just because it's projected, it exists. Did she try to cut $30 million? She has no choice because she spent too much money. Well, You're right. She you has said no choice. that they were overspending and they weren't doing enough. Right. And you were, then She's you cutting started 30 million. complaining. All right. Then you no, were, not complaining. Factual. Not complaining. Just tell her like it is. It's fact. I got it. We got about a minute and 57 seconds. We can go on and on. I know. I, um, how do people get in touch with Ken Gibbs? Hold on a Gibbs? second. How, <laughs> how in the world can you have Brown? How can you vote for this guy? Scott Brown is a great, uh, great Scott guy. Scott Brown I, I support is him. a yeah, right. You know? Yeah. Compared yeah. to Shaheen, right here. Compared right here. to Gene I Shaheen, I didn't support him in the primary, but I support him now as a candidate. Who lives in New Hampshire? You know, who was in the House? Shaheen, who was in the Senate? Shaheen is the from first Wisconsin. Lady governor. You know, she, Missouri somewhere. She worked for it. He's just working into it. No, that's not true. And Shaheen, they can get Shaheen me. is using veterans as political pawns. She's taking credit for Berlin, the vet center. In the medical center up there, she had nothing to do with it. It was done seven years ago before she was even a senator. Okay, we were just waiting for, for Keen to get done I first. Know, I know, you guys. She's wrong. I know, you How guys. How do people get in touch oh, with you? You know, please, I know. Remember, remember, do, remember, Democrats remember in my folks, town get in touch the Republicans with you? are walking around in the sun, right? Uh, to keep it nice and dark. All right. My name is Ken Gidge, and you can get me at 864-9332 or go to Gidge World, which is an art site or I'm on Facebook. And I'm Representative Al Baldassau. Uh, you can reach me at www.albaldassau.com. I'm on Facebook. Um, uh, you can call my house at 425-6997. Or stop by my house on 41 Hall Road if the car's there. Stop in and say hello. Ken Gizwood looks, he sits in front of me at the State House. We are friends, okay? But we, dis we agree to disagree in many areas. He likes to go into your pocket. I like to stay out of your pocket. He thinks government's the answer. I know it's not the answer. I love the way he the said businesses. this when it was only 11 yeah. seconds left. <laughs> Ken, I love the pleasure. way you do this. Boy, is that tricky. Typical We'll Republican. see you next time on Who's Looking Out For You. <laughs>